You probably already have watched the official trailer of the new movie Joker that is set to be released in the fall of this year because it's everywhere. If you haven't done it yet, wait until you finish watching this video to do it because in it we will tell you why the terrible tragedies and the strong blows that Joaquin Phoenix has had to experience in his life made him the perfect fit for the Joker. Let's get to it. After the epic and masterful interpretation of the Joker by the deceased Heath Ledger in The Dark Knight in 2008, the expectation for this role became too high for the ones that were going to be the next Joker. And although Jared Leto had an extraordinary and superb performance in Suicide Squad, the expectations of the fans are still above it. Something that has attracted attention is the magnificent reaction that the new trailer of the film Joker has received from the audience. Since the two-minute trailer was released, many have started tweeting that they undoubtedly have high hopes that Phoenix work will be impeccable. In fact, there are those who have already ventured to say they think it will live up to the role played by Ledger, and there were even some more daring who already demand the Oscar. Well, that's already a little exaggerated, right? But the truth is that these predictions can be grounded taking into consideration Phoenix's undoubted histrionic gifts and his stormy past. Joaquin Rafael Bottom was born on October 28, 1974 in San Juan, Puerto Rico. It was during his childhood that he went through his first complicated moments because his parents John and Arlen Bottom, along with him and his siblings Summer, Rain, Liberty, and River, constantly went from one place to another in countries of Central and South America, since they were children of God. But eventually he decided to abandon it and move to Los Angeles where they adopted the surname Phoenix and they started a new life. Once there, Joaquin and some of his brothers began their search for an opportunity in Hollywood. During this stage, the actor used the name Leaf Phoenix, but finally he changed it to what nowadays is known as one of the most talented and successful actors in the industry, Joaquin Phoenix. And since he made his first appearance in the 1986 movie Space Camp and had a first major role in the film Parenthood in 1989, Phoenix has done nothing but reap success. Perhaps his most remembered roles throughout his career were Max California in the 8mm film in 1999, or the Abbé du Colmier in Quills of 2000, Theodore Tuombly in Her 2013, as Jesus Christ in Mary Magdalene 2018, and of course as Commodus the tyrannical emperor of Rome in Gladiator in 2000, and so many more. In addition to being an extraordinary actor, Phoenix is also a producer and musician, although in the latter he has not established himself that well, but you gotta do what you gotta do. All those years of career and impeccable work give him a fortune valued at $30 million according to the Celebrity Net Worth site, although surely those figures will rise considerably once the Joker is released. But Joaquin went through some problems throughout his personal life and career which started from his childhood. Being a member of such a large family, his parents really had difficulty feeding the kids and had to live in a one-bedroom apartment. But that was nothing in comparison to the greatest tragedy in Joaquin's life, which was the death of his older brother, River Phoenix, who was also a famous 90s youth actor who lost his life because of an overdose after having consumed a mixture of alcohol with illegal substances called Speedball on October 31, 1993. With a lifetime ahead and a promising career, River's life ended at the young age of 23 while he was at a party at the infamous Viper Room. Joaquin could do nothing about this, even CPR didn't work and that is how he lost his brother. The pain that he experienced following the loss of his brother was followed by an alleged on-scene incident in 2005. While playing one of his most memorable and epic roles in the movie Walk the Line about the life of the musician Johnny Cash, the media claimed that Joaquin had suffered a collapse on stage while recording the scene where Cash's brother dies. Although the actor denied all of this and expressed that he was tired of the press, the truth is that this role did actually affect his life. In the same year, Phoenix had to enter a rehabilitation clinic because after playing an alcoholic musician, he took his role too seriously and abused drinking. Fortunately, he managed to get ahead of this and continued with his life and his career as he had always done. In addition, he found love with the actress Rooney Mara, his current partner since 2016, and now Phoenix is on the verge of his greatest movie success playing the most iconic role of his career, Joker. Do you think Joaquin Phoenix's performance as the Joker is going to be better than Heath Ledger? Let us know what you think in the comments and remember to become a part of our Curiosips family by subscribing to our channel. Until next time.